Okay, in this exercise, we're going to start by making the hangman game. To get started, I'm going to put a button, a label, and a text box onto the form. I'm going to change the properties of the button. So the text says guess. And I'm going to name, as is good programming practice, the button to be BTN lowercase guess. The text box to be called TXT letter. Yeah. Or sorry, TXT guess. And the label to be called LBL display. Okay, to get started, and I guess I should take the label um, and make it look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the text and I'm going to delete the text and I'm gonna make the font quite large. So I'm gonna select a much larger font uh, that's gonna be bold and maybe size 16. Okay, to get started, we're going to uh, go to uh, the form event of form load. So when the program starts up, we're going to do the following. What we're going to do is we are going to um, create and uh, put some values into our variables. So let's start with the secret word. So I'm going to create a variable called uh, secret word. And it's going to be a string variable. And I'm going to create a variable called num of guesses, which is an integer. which will keep track of how many guesses we've had. So in um, the form load, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign secret word is going to equal uh, hangman. So I'm going to put it all in capitals. And oh, one other variable I'm going to create is going to be called length. And length is going to equal secret word dot length minus one. Okay, now I want to display in the label the dashes. So I'm going to make a loop. I'll call it position. It's going to be an integer. And it's going to equal zero to length. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say label one dot text equals label one dot text and a uh, dash. Oh, sorry, not label one. Uh, I called it LBL display. Great, I'm gonna test my program and see if it works. And you'll see there's dashes between each word. Now, unfortunately, the dashes make it look like it's one solid word. So what I might use instead 
just because of the graphic display in the font is the hyphen. And you'll see the hyphen displays as small little dashes. So I can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Finally, I now am ready to look at button guess. What we're going to do for button guess is we'll create a variable called guess. And it's going to equal the uh, text box one, sorry, text box guess dot text. And to make sure that it's just one character, I'm going to put the substring and say start at position zero and just grab the first character. So this will ensure that my guess is only the first character. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called temp guess. And it's going to equal label displays text. So whatever is in the display, text and all, hyphens or whatever, is going to be there. Finally, I'm going to create a variable called found, which is Boolean, which is going to start by being false. Finally, I'm going to make a loop. And the loop is going to be, position is going to be an integer. It's going to go from zero to length. And you're going to say if um, string guess is equal to secret word dot substring at position and one character. So if at the position that we're at in the loop, there's a match, we're going to say that we found something. And we're also going to um, change the temp guess and I want to replace the letter that we're at in temp guess. And what I want to do is I want to replace um, temp guess ah, sorry, no, pardon me. What I want to do is uh, replace the label. So LBL display equals uh, dot text is equal to the label display dot text and the guess. Else, if that's not true, label display dot text is going to equal label display dot text and a dash. Okay, finally I want to count the number of guesses. I'm going to say if uh, not found, then 
gas, num of gases, is equal to num of gases plus what? We're going to add one to our number of gases. And then finally, I'm going to turn found and make it false. Well, no, I don't need to do that. Great. Uh, the last thing I want to do is um, <laughs> sorry, I made a mistake here. The label display is equal to uh, the um, temp guess dot substring Great, and that should work.